Hi guys, today we're going to make a delicious crepe amuse. We're going to make a taco filled with a ponzu jelly, a crepe salad and a delicious crepe grin. So first we're going to make the crepe salad. For that, take the crepe, turn it around and insert your knife in the head. Really push the legs down, otherwise they might pinch you. And then insert the knife straight away in the head. This will kill it and this will just give it a, a painless death. Um, as much as possible. So then take the legs, twist them off and do this with the claws as well. Now keep the head in your fridge for later. Then bring a pan with water to a boil and season it with a generous amount of salt. So now that the water is boiling we can boil the legs and the claws. The legs we're going to boil for two minutes and the claws really depends on the size. This one is a medium sized claw, so we're going to boil it for like five minutes. If you have a smaller one, boil it for four minutes. If it's a bigger one, six, maybe even seven minutes when it's really huge. But this one for five minutes. Just to be clear, boil the legs for two minutes and these claws for five minutes. Then cool everything down in ice water. After that, separate the legs on the joints and keep the thin part of the legs for later. Then cut the top from the thick part and use a tweezer to press the meat out of the shell. So then we can clean the claws. For that first separate the elbows from the claws. Use the back of a knife if necessary and scoop the meat out of the shell with the back of a spoon. Now there's this little finger on the claw. Just break the joint and then pull it out. There is one uh, small sword and one big sword. As you can see here the small sword came out, the big sword is still in the claw. So really be careful with that because you don't want a sword like this left in the salad. It's super yeah, unpleasant, um, it's unedible and if a guest has this in his mouth that's yeah, not nice at all. So really be careful with that. We're going to check the salad afterwards for any small pieces of armor or the swords. But if you're careful in the beginning, then there is less to check and that will just speed up the process. Then break the claws with a knife or a pan and remove the crab meat. Once that's done, like I said before, use your fingers to check the meat for any shell parts or swords and then keep the crab meat in your fridge for later. Now for the crab cream. For that, first break the head open and remove the dead man's fingers. Then chop the head in smaller pieces and empty the shell of the head. Now heat up a pan, add a splash of oil and pan fry all the crab trimmings and the chopped crab head. Meanwhile cut 3 onions in half and clean them. Now chop them. Then cut half a bulb of garlic in half and add both to the pan fried crab. Pan fry this for a couple more minutes and then deglaze it with 200 grams of white wine and 100 grams of perno. Reduce this completely and then cover everything with water. Let it simmer for 45 minutes. After that, drain the broth and be sure to let it drip so you don't waste a single drop. Now let it reduce for 90% till it's a thick reduction and it's super flavorful. Then pour 30 grams of the crab reduction in a blender together with 10 grams of lime juice, 10 grams of mustard, 30 grams of egg yolk, 2 grams of salt and 150 grams of neutral oil. Now blend this till it's a smooth cream. Then transfer it into a piping bottle and use it to season the crab meat. Also seasoned with lime zest and salt. Mix this and then keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the ponzu. First mix 120 grams of mirin with 30 grams of rice vinegar and 20 grams of kombu. Bring this to the simmer. Then turn off the heat, add 4 grams of bonito flakes and let it marinate for 10 minutes. After that, pass it through a fine sieve and season it with 70 grams of soy sauce and 60 grams of lime juice. Mix this and then you'll end up with a delicious lime ponzu. Then for the ponzu jelly. First soak one leaf or 1.6 grams of gelatin in cold water. Meanwhile pour 100 grams of orange juice in a saucepan together with 100 grams of the ponzu that we just made. Also add 1.5 grams of agar powder. Then mix it and bring it to a boil. Once it has boiled, turn off the heat and dissolve the soaked gelatin. After that, spray a thin layer of oil spray on a metal tray. Then pour 50 grams on each tray and let it set for 5 minutes. 
and let it cool down completely in your fridge and then cut it with a round cutter. Then the onion powder. First clean two onions. Now chop them and then spread it on a metal tray. Then use a blowtorch to toast the top. When that's done, let it dry at 60 degrees Celsius for a couple of hours. After, transfer it into a blender and blend it into a fine powder. Keep it for later. Now for the batter. Mix 60 grams of egg white with 40 grams of oil, 10 grams of butter, 40 grams of sugar, 6 grams of salt and 50 grams of flour. Then blend this till smooth. After that, spread it on a silicon mold. The mold I'm using here is from Mold Brothers. Then dust a thin layer of the onion powder on top and bake it at 150 degrees Celsius for around 15 minutes till golden. After that, when still hot, gently remove the tuya from the mold and place it upside down on a taco holder. Put it back in the oven for 5 more minutes and then shape it into the desired shape. Then we can start to finish the dish. First, gently place the jelly on the taco. After, fill it with the crab salad and cover it with a thin layer of the crab cream. Then transfer it on the plate and decorate the top with marigold flowers and thyme flowers. Okay guys, that's it for today. I'm super happy with the result. The panzu jelly is super delicious and the crab salad as well. I did a couple of the recipes in previous videos, but this combination is really, really nice. And especially the Twia recipe is super, super nice. It works on almost all molds. Um, it says crisp. It is easy to unmold and yeah, it's super easy to make as well. Um, the Amuse has been standing here for 40 minutes already, so the Tuya is a little bit soft by now, but we're just going to dig in because the flavor is still super, super great. At least, that's what I think. Mm. Yeah. The the crab salad is super delicious. The cream has so much flavor. And that in combination with the freshness and the, a little bit of the sweetness of the panzo jelly. Yeah, super nice. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and all the recipes. Please let me know in the comments on what you wanna see or learn next. Like and share the video and subscribe if you wanna support my channel and see more amazing cooking videos. And as always, bon appétit!